this tiny little vine is partridge berry. And that right there is a partridge berry. Okay, yeah, but we're going to leave it, so it'll be there tomorrow, maybe. There's a bunch by that tree right there. Oh, there are? Yeah, okay. it's like eight of them. So, this can... What's the berry? Partridge berry. There, that's a berry. So, it is really easy. It's a little vine that never climbs. It just goes right along the ground, as a bunch of them have. Opposite. And again, it doesn't fit into the mad cap horse thing. So, it's opposite, heart-shaped leaf with a little yellow center vein. So here's, pass that around, and last person can dispose of it. And again, it's it's all through here, but just covered up in the, look at it. Then you can move the leaves, there it is. And so it is flat on the ground, just very, very, there it is again, very, very shade tolerant. And anything, squirrels, grouse, turkeys, any box store, whatever finds it, what will eat it. This thing always is a, is a it's, it's a peculiar thing. I don't think we really need it for identifying it. It's always a fused twin. There's where a flower part and a flower over here. It has, it literally has two flowers that go to a fused, it's a peponical like trivia. Two flowers go to a fused over. And so there was a flower here at that spot, and there was a flower here at that mm. spot, and it always forms one berry. So it's like conjoined twins. Every fruit is. They're, they're fused twins. It, 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 ba it almost has no taste. It's like a slightly sweet glass of water, is how a lot of people describe it. So it's, it's edible, too. Um, yeah, and they're, they're about both that color red, but it's, you know, you'd have to have it in your hands. They're, they're both bright red. So, again, what you got to do now is, okay, which one's partridge berry, which one's tea berry, which one's uh, trailing arbutus, because they don't look at all alike.